Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at converting units of measurement. So we have the problem, if the speed of sound is 343.2 meters per second, what is the approximate speed of sound in miles per hour? So to do a problem like this we're going to use conversion analysis, which let's start off with the information that was given to us. We have the speed of sound is 343.2 meters per second. So we're going to set this up as a fraction, meters over second. And now our goal is to convert this to miles per hour. So our end result should be in the form of miles per hour. And now when solving certain math problems, it's a really good idea to set up what your final answer should look like so that you have something to work towards. So now we start off with the fact that in one meter there's 3.28 feet. And now this conversion analysis part comes in because one meter equals 3.28 feet. So if we multiply this expression by 3.28 feet divided by one meter, this fraction that I just wrote is equal to one because the numerator and the denominator are of the, are of the same quantity. And whenever we have a fraction like three divided by three or five divided by five, they're both equal to one because in the numerator and denominator when we have the same quantity, that fraction equals one. But why did I write it this way? Well, I put meters in the denominator so that they would cancel out with meters in the numerator. So now when we go from, we'll call this step one to step two, notice how meters canceled out. And now the next fraction we have is 343.2 times 3.28. And now what unit is left? Meters canceled out, so in the numerator all we have is feet. So we have feet over, and now we only have one left in the denominator, meters canceled out, so we have one second. So now we're a little bit closer to miles per hour. So now we have to convert from feet to miles. So we're going to use this equality. We have one mile equals 5,280 feet. But now remember, we want feet to cancel out and we want it to turn to miles. So when we multiply this time, we want feet in the denominator so that feet in the numerator cancels out with feet in the denominator. So now we have that in one mile there are 5,280 feet, so we're going to set up one mile over 5,280 feet. And now, remember from before, these two quantities are equal, so this fraction that I just wrote is equal to one because we have the same quantity in the numerator and denominator. So all I'm doing is multiplying this by one and just changing its representation. So now feet is going to cancel out with feet because they're in opposite sides of the fraction. We have feet in the numerator and denominator. So when those cross off, now our next line is going to read, we have 343.2 times 3.28 times 1. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And now the only unit left, feet canceled out, now we have miles. I'm going to put it plural, miles in the numerator, because we definitely have more than one here. And now over, we have 1 times 5,280 is 5,280. Feet canceled out, and all we have left is second. So now, to go from this line to the next, we have miles already completed. So now our goal is to change seconds into hours. So now, how do we change, go from seconds to hours? Well, let's consider the fact that in one minute there are 60 seconds. So if we want seconds to cancel out, seconds is in the denominator, we're going to put seconds in the numerator. So we have, there are 60 seconds in one minute. And now that they are in opposing sides, we have seconds in the numerator and denominator, they will cancel out. And now our next line is going to read, we have 343.2 times 3.28 and now times 60 and now what unit is in the numerator keep in mind it's still just miles because seconds did cancel out right here and now in this denominator we have 5,280 times 1 so just 5,280 and now seconds is gone and we have minutes so we're just gonna write minutes singular so now 
from this line to the next, we're almost done. We need miles per hour, so we consider the fact that in one hour there are 60 minutes. So we want minutes to cancel out. Notice how minutes is in the denominator. We're going to place minutes in the numerator. So we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. So now notice there are opposing sides. We have minutes in the numerator and denominator, so they will cancel out. And now when we go to line 5, what do we have? We have 343.2. times 3.28 times 60 times 60 and now the unit of measurement is just miles because keep in mind minutes crossed off so we have miles all over and now in the denominator we have 5,280 times 1 so we have 5,280 and now minutes crossed off, so we're only left with hour. So now our expression is in the form of miles per hour. So the only thing that we need to do now is divide all of this. So we're going to multiply. We have 343.2 times 3.28 times 60 times 60. And we're going to take that quantity, which is 4,052,505.6. And we're going to divide that by 5,280. And now this is going to give us a final answer of 767.52 miles per hour. So our final answer is 767.52 miles per hour. So this is how we would use conversion analysis to convert 343.2 meters per second to 767.52 miles per hour. Okay, well this is going to conclude this problem as well as this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.